Lebanon, not in Lebanon, actually in the border between Israel and Lebanon, near the Ramon mountain. Uh, we were protecting the border. Uh, it was like afternoon, four o'clock. Suddenly the Hezbollah started to shoot uh, motor bombs and anti-tank uh, missiles. Uh, one of them, uh, one of the motor bombs fell by uh, seven meters next to me. I got ricochets and uh, shot all over my face. I started to bleed. And one of my friends, my best friends, was standing in front of me. He got actually pretty bad injury, also in his head. And we, they started to beg us. They took us to the hospital. It took something like five hours under heavy artillery and fire. And after three days, I got released from the hospital. After I did some few surgeries to remove a few of the uh, ricochets, I still have a few of them in my face. And after a couple of months, I had another surgery to take another one from my eye. Uh, thank God I'm still see from this eye. It was a miracle. And, but actually, after three days that I got released from the hospital, my friend actually died from his injury. And after two months at home of recovering, I actually was insist to go back to my unit, go back to the same place that I was got injured. And I finished my service after three years. In 2004, after that, I started to feel some few symptoms that I didn't understand what's going on with me. And actually, I found out that I went to check myself. Uh, the doctors they sent me to psychology, and over there they found they told me that I'm suffering from PTSD. It's post-traumatic. <laughs> And actually, it's affecting all of my uh, ordinary, ordinary, ordinary life. Actually, I can't sleep well. My nights are actually not a regular night. I can't put my hand on bed and sleep well. I have to uh, get the medicines for sleeping. And I have problems also with Actually, uh, I'm very sensitive for noises, like uh, explosive, even a, bu a balloon that explodes. I start to uh, run uh, situations in my head, what's gonna, what's gonna happen now? Is something bad gonna happen? And I start to act like a soldier, like what actually I was trained to do, and it's to protect first. And actually nothing happened. So this is one of the symptoms of the post-traumatic. Later on, you're gonna get some time for your questions, okay? And after a couple of years, I was uh, getting uh, treatment and everything. I found out about this foundation, Brothers for Life, Achim Lachaim. And in the foundation, I found people that actually understand me. They actually feel what I feel. They see what I see. They act the same like me. And it was amazing because uh, in my order in, order in life, my friends, my best friends from school, from life, they never understand what happened to me. They thought I got injured and everything, but they didn't understand that something actually is wrong with me. And after a few, a few uh, times that I was mad and angry, 
they, they thought that I'm getting crazy. And that's how I lost also a lot of friends. But my family, they still support me, but they also thought that I'm getting crazy or something. But when I found about this foundation, I found those people that actually gave me the, the opportunity to, to express myself and they actually understand me better than my family, they're better than my friends. And this is what actually the foundation actually exists for us. It's to give us the support, give us the... And, and the ability to express and feel the same.